Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Monique Brady. And I'm Rafael Gonzalez, and today is October 20th, 2011. Let's get started with the announcements. Seniors, a Sac State Admissions representative will be here tomorrow, Friday, October 21st. If you are interested in hearing the presentation, you must sign up today in the Career Center. Tom of KNCI Radio from the Pat and Tom Morning Show recorded our very own Wolfpack Marching Band on Tuesday. Please tell everyone you know to tune in to 105.1 KNCI. Friday morning around 7.10 to hear our COHS band. Unfortunately, right night has been postponed. We will let you know when we have selected a new date. We may celebrate the National Day of Writing in your own way. Right on. Winter basketball starts in 19 days. If you're interested in playing, contact Coach Chapin and HN2 immediately. Girls basketball conditioning takes place Monday through Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30. Make sure you have a physical and meet at, and meet at this small gym. Speaking of sports, let's hear about how the volleyball team did last night from Jed and Ben. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ben Marjat. And I'm Jed Polanco. Let's get started with some volleyball news. Good job to our JV and varsity women's volleyball team who showed a tremendous display of skills and perseverance against the Liberty Ranch Eagles yesterday. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we lost both JV and Varsity game to a very close match. Varsity fought really hard trying to gain an upper hand against the Liberty Ranch Eagles, losing the first match 13-25 and coming back to win the second match 25-15 and losing the third match 15-25 and coming back again winning the fourth match 35-33. As they head to the fifth match, our Varsity girls showed great perseverance and unfortunately lost to a close match of 12-15. Once again, good job to both our JV and varsity women's volleyball team who showed a great performance against the Liberty Ranch Eagles. Have you been keeping up on your local football lately? Well, if so, you have been in for a treat as both local NFL teams are playing very well. Your o Oakland Raiders, following a 24-17 victory over the Cleveland Browns last Sunday, are now 4-2. After the death of late owner Al Davis, the Raiders have stepped up and continued the commitment to excellence. They do, however, face a tough game this Sunday against the Kansas City Chiefs, with quarterback Jason Campbell out for the season with a broken collarbone. Is it expected that former Bengal Carson Palmer will start as QB this Sunday? The 49ers are also dominating their division after this Sunday in which the now 5-1 Niners defeated the previously undefeated Detroit Lions. The Niners have a bye this week, but will face off against the Cleveland Browns on October 30th. Now let's take it into Athlete of the Week. This week's Women Athlete of the Week goes to number 10 of the women's varsity volleyball team, Aji Dvorsky. She showed a great performance at yesterday's game and led the team to fight hard against the Liberty Ranch Eagles. Keep up the good work. And this week's Male Athlete of the Week goes out to our varsity quarterback, Andrew Williams. This past Friday against Vista Del Lago, Andrew ran for a school record 230 yards. He also scored three touchdowns, carrying the Wolfpack to a 34-21 victory. Coaches, if you guys would like to nominate an athlete for Wolfpack TV's Athlete of the Week, please send your no nominations to either me or Jed via School Loop. Also, coaches, if you want us to talk about your sports event on Wolfpack TV, you need to email us with the results or else your sport won't be on the show. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Ben Marjat. And I'm Jed Polanco. See you on Monday. This fall, Wolfpack Theater is producing Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. Tickets are available in the student store, the web store, or from any Comedy of Errors cast member. Tickets are $8 for general admission, $6 for senior citizens, children under 10, and ASV card holders. There will be a special dinner theater on Friday, October 21st, beginning at 5.30 at COH's Parkside Cafe. Enjoy dinner and a show for only $25 a person and $15 for children 10 and under. If you are interested in attending the Oregon 
Shakespeare Festival field trip in Ashland this year, there is a mandatory parent meeting on Tuesday, November 1st at 6 p.m. in HE5. The cost of the trip is $275 and a non-refundable $100 deposit will be due at this time. You must have a parent present at this meeting to attend the field trip. There are limited spots available, so if you'd like to hold your spot, you may place your deposit now in the web store or with the controller. The first deposit will be due November 1st. So Monique, have any plans for Halloween? Yes, I'm probably going to dress up, go to a Halloween party, and get some free candy. What are you going to do? I'm probably going to go see the new Param Paranormal Activity 3. But anyways, let's take it into this Halloween costumes video. I'm going to be a ladybug. I'm going to be Sailor Moon. Zoro. <laughs> Damien. You! <laughs> I'm going to be Chewbacca. A goblin. Uh, I think I might be uh, Batman. A ghost. I want to be Spider-Man. Edna Mole from The Incredibles. I want to be Spongebob. James Bond. Will be Bass Guy. I want to be Chris. I want to be this kid for Halloween. Are you interested in getting community service credit? Would you like to get up to 36 hours of community service helping the men's basketball program? While the COHS men's basketball program is in need of a large number of individuals to help run their JV and varsity basketball tournaments this coming December. For those individuals inter interested, please swing by Coach Ross's classroom, HJ2, and get your name on the volunteer list. The sooner you sign up, the more hours you can get. The Elk Grove Girls Softball League seeks responsible volunteers for snack bar coverage during the winter ball season. Up to four hours of community service can be earned between 12.30 and 4.30 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday through the end of October. Please see elkgrovesoftball.com for more information. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Raphael Gonzalez. The strength of the pack is the wolf. And I'm Monique Brady, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. That's the way the banana splits.